How's it going, Reef Keepers? So I just wanted to give an update on the little clownfish anemone tank um, that I got up and running around, I guess, Christmas time. And uh, I had put that um, little nem in there that I got from, I guess, what would count as my LFS, which is like an hour north of me. Um, but that LFS is, it's decent for being the only LFS for a, a quite a ways in this kind of reefy no man's land that I live in. But, um, you know, there's some practices there that I kind of raise an eyebrow at. Um, and their NEMs, I believe, were severely, um, they, they were put in a tank with a light that was far too high above the tank. Like, it would have to be an abnormally powerful light to be, you know, giving those NEMs enough light. And they all looked kind of, I don't know, faded, anemic. I don't know what, what the correct word is for the appearance of the NEMs. But when I posted my videos, um, or my initial video on it, I, I did have uh, one of my subscribers say, hey, is that NEM, like, bleaching out? And I said, look, like, they were all kind of translucent um, when, I, when I bought it. I mean, I didn't have much choice. And I didn't want to order one online. I wanted to go and like see one. And this was one of the one of the healthier ones here. But my what I did was having suspecting that, you know, the, the NEM had been under way too little light intensity. I put it in the tank and then I set the light to a very lengthy acclimation. So like three weeks of acclimation. And I took this I put this AI Prime. I started it at like 25% strength and I'm running this thing way high now. Like, you know, very, very high intensity. Like the par on the top right here um, of the rock is about 275, I wanna say. So um, from my research, NEMS like decently high par, like 225 to 300. So you can see it's mounted on a standard uh, AI, um, metal right angle um mounting arm and i guess maybe the lights ab above the surface of the water maybe a foot and then however many inches down below the water level that this nem is um i've got this prime cranking for about all it's worth and that's achieving that 275 um the fan's definitely kicking on in that thing every day now but look at the color on this thing <laughs> It has, now that that acclimation is completed and it's been under, in, you know, intensive light like it should be every day, look at the color on that NEM. I mean, it is just looking beautiful. Um, no more serious translucence to it. Um, it has a uniform appearance every day. It's not randomly closing up. It's not vomiting anymore. Um, I hadn't updated you guys on that, but I was... The first week it was vomiting a lot <laughs> and I was like, oh God, <laughs> um, I really didn't want to lose it. My daughter's a huge fan of um, having like a, you know, quote unquote, real anemone in the tank with the little clownfish. And uh, it's just love and life. Every day I feed it a couple carnivore pellets and it just chomps them right down. The clownfish, um, don't seem all that interested in it yet, which is probably a good thing because, and again, I know that NEMs are used to clownfish, you know, wanting them. <laughs> um, I don't really know if bubble tip NEMs and clownfish are traditionally paired up in the wild. I know that they can pair up, but I was kind of glad that the clownfish backed off and, and kept backed off so that it could, you know, get its strength up. But now this thing is just looking beautiful. Um, looking absolutely beautiful. So super, super happy with it. Anyway, anybody who gets a NEM that looks like it's kind of translucent or just kind of weak or um, what have you, you know, you just suspect that it wasn't getting enough light uh, before you received it. I would say run a pretty lengthy acclimation program on it for sure. Um, don't try to crank it too fast. I don't know what would have happened if I did but I didn't want to shock it. That was the last thing I wanted to do. I turned the flow down low and I had the acclimation program run for three full weeks and this thing could not be happier. So, um, 
I got to clean up this tank a little bit still. Got some cord management to do. Uh, glass needs like a really good scrape down. But overall, uh, this tank is going to be an absolute gem right in my daughter's playroom. Um, she's super happy about it. So, so am I. All right, guys. Thanks for listening.